Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. It has been a while and I apologize for that. I have been so busy. It's kind of like insanely busy. They obviously, if you guys haven't known, I work in the emergency services in a way. Um, and with the fires and everything in LA where I live, it's been, let's say, very busy. Um, but I am back today and I came back and we're going to talk about the CFX um, portal today because a lot of people... Um, I've seen are confused given some of my older videos go over Keymaster and that type of setup. So this is replacing Keymaster and it is combining kind of all of the things together. So it's like one central thing. Patreon's no longer going to exist for 5M, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to make this full screen so it's a little easier to see. Um, but another reason I'm covering this is because whenever I go to the resources page now, 90% um, of things are paid. Um, and the ones that aren't paid are typically ESX or just some little tiny thing that um, I don't really want to buy or set up an entire uh, framework just to test out one thing. So I am going to kind of change up how I'm doing videos a little bit going forward. I'm going to try to install specific frameworks, VRP, QRX, ESX into different sections on my computer that way i can do videos on these smaller free ones um and then a lot of their free stuff has changed now that they're not allowing or not requiring a direct download link for free scripts you can now do it through keymaster or through this new portal um so it just adds extra steps and it's been a little difficult for me to make videos recently so that's kind of the background on kind of why i'm doing a video on the portal today because the portal is going to be where 90% of the resources are going to be downloaded from now on. Um, so I just wanted to go over how you get there, how that works, how the resources pop up there. And then um, going forward in future videos, I'll do a video on um, connecting your server if you do one of their paid plans, stuff like that. Anyway, let's get straight into this. So first thing to, we're just going to go over here. So pretty much they're introducing this. It's going to be both for 5M and Red M. Um, it allows you to have server registration keys. So this is Key Master. It's removing the Patreon side of it. So there's no longer, you no longer have to have Patreon. Um, so if you are running a server and you were paying them through Patreon, that will now um, not be happening through Patreon. They are going to move that to this system. And if I had to take a guess, it's because they want the additional money that Patreon would have taken as fees and everything. So they decided to make their own platform for it. You know what? Fine. I have always had disagreements about 5M and Patreon since the beginning. However, now that they're part of Rockstar, they're for sure going to take that microtransaction monthly subscription up to the next level, likely. Um, but anyway, uh, so who, there is a migration product uh, process, which if you have a previous Patreon subscription, you have to cancel that, which is annoying. And then you would have to resubscribe on the portal. Um, there is no easy way to do it in the middle. You're going to have to wait till your benefits expire from Patreon in a month and then, um, resubscribe to portal. Otherwise you'll be double charged. It isn't much of a migration process, more like a figure it out on your own and, um, go from there. Anyway, let's take a look at the portal itself. So the portal is at portal.cfx.re, um, and this is your homepage. So it will ask you to log in with your forms account, same account you log into the client with. Um, and then once you're here, your options are to create a key, create an asset, go to your servers, your current assets, any subscriptions you have. So the servers tab is going to be kind of what Keymaster is. It shows you your active keys. It shows you your names. It shows you and lets you copy keys or... Um, like hide keys or show full keys here and then it lets you delete those keys make them inactive now as a reminder it depends how many slots you have but by default you only have three keys if you are on their free plan you can um, obviously create more than three keys as long as you have um all the other keys being inactive below that value um so it shows you how many keys you can have up here Obviously, if you have questions about that, they have an article on this. Um, and if it has been leaked on GitHub and they do have detection for this now, um, it will go ahead and automatically um, let you know through your email and be like, hey, you're going to have to regenerate that key because it is leaked on GitHub because something you committed or one of your server files. So they now scan for that, which is pretty cool. Um, so no one else can be using your keys. Reminder, keys are going to be used mainly for resources and assets. If you don't have a valid key on your server, 
then those assets you own aren't going to be able to be activated. So you make sure your key matches the assets you have in your library. And for server hosting, they are still only using Zap Hosting, another problem I've had with 5M for a long time, but I'm not getting into that today. Um, so I always recommend self-hosting using a dedicated server or your local PC or something like that. Um, and then you have assets. This is going to be where all of your assets are in your server and all of the ones you own. So you can go ahead and download, like this is a Toe script that I did a video on. You can download, it shows you when it was last updated. You can filter by this as well, which I do enjoy. Um, there you go. So I can filter this. So you can see night shifts and um, the uh, emergency operation simulator one I did a video on was last updated um, in January. And you can see it goes down from there. So you can um, sort by updates and stuff. I wish they had a little tag like Keymaster had that shows newly updated or something. Maybe they'll add that later on. They do have pending transfers, so you can now transfer resources between user accounts and stuff if you have multiple owners. If you are creating resources, you can now upload your assets here, and then they will put their own DRM into it and uh, make it so people can't look at the source and everything. That's all done through this system here. And then there's obviously a grant lookup. So this is um, one, if you are an author, you can search and see what your assets are and who is um, allowed to have that. And that's through Tebex or however you're selling your resources. And then if they've been transferred at all. Subscriptions, this is the tab where they're making all their money. So you can now pay annually. This is something I do actually like. If you're gonna have a subscription, make sure you have an annual subscription. Um, but they obviously continue to um, charge for their monthly. So monthly it's 15, 25, 50 or annually 171, 285, 570. Um, obviously pretty much all this gets you across the board here is going to be the streaming custom, uh, custom clothing for more than 10 players. So anybody, you're always anybody under 10 players or 10 slots on your server. If your server is only set to 10 slots, you're going to get that stream custom clothing for free. So as long as you're playing with under 10 people, it's for free. But if anybody is larger than 10 people, you're going to have to get this first monthly subscription or yearly subscription to be able to have the clothing for more than 10 people. Um, I don't actually see any use for any of these other things um, unless you're like a, one of those huge servers. Um, and even if you're a huge server, you're probably only doing this to get that slot, the 20, 2048 slots. I don't see why you would even want that many people on one server, but you know what? It's that's that's personal preference. Anyway, if you need support with this or anything, they have links here along with FAQ um, subscriptions. They do have auto renewal on here. Um, and then in terms of refunds, they uh, do not offer refunds. It's all processed through Tebex. And then in the top right, you have your account and your sign out. You click account. It's going to take you to your profile, show you your email, two step verification and any connections you have. Like I have it. Uh, you can link it to Discord. You can link it to Patreon. You can link it to Google etc etc so it's a pretty cool system pretty cool portal um hopefully it makes it a little easier than keymaster did everything's in one place now um it's pretty much keymaster just its own version of it that they've now recreated i don't really get it but anyway hopefully it um just, just kind of gives you an overview and um if you have any resources you want me to cover please let me know down in the description i have a couple to-do list items that I was looking into um, prior to me going crazy with work that I'm going to do videos on. However, if you have any uh, others you want to see, let me know down in the description below. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, all.